Pikeville Police Department would like to remind area residents about changes in traffic patterns with Pike County Schools and Pikeville Independent Schools resuming classes this week. Motorists should also be on the lookout for any new drivers commuting to and from school in the mornings and evenings. Mountaintop News spoke with Pikeville Police to hear more. Basically, we just want to people to be aware, uh, you know, with school starting back, to expect delays, especially around those school zones, uh, around the high school, uh, here downtown around the elementary school, up on 119 around Pike Central, and then the other areas of the county. Um, expect delays, make sure, you know, you're paying attention, traffic is gonna be backed up. Um, you know, it's gonna take a few weeks, everybody getting back in the swing of things to kind of get it uh, flowing properly. Uh, you know, we're gonna be out you know, the best we can and try to direct traffic at the elementary school and at the high school. It's going to be the Pikeville Independent. The Pike County Health Department invites you to come see them for your back to school and sports physicals, as well as vaccines. We are the vaccine experts. So for your back to school physicals, sports physicals, or vaccines, visit the Pike County Health Department today. While directing traffic, there could be times where vehicles in one lane are sitting idle to avoid buildup in another lane close to US-23. If a school bus is stopped, never try to go around while children are boarding or exiting. So one of the biggest issues we have around that high school is that uh, if you're looking at the high school to the left, uh, a lot of people are going to be exiting off of 23. So if we let that get backed up, um, you know, it's going to back up onto 23. We have to make sure that that side keeps flowing. The people on the right side may get a little agitated, but we're just trying to make sure everybody's safe. So just like I said, be patient with us. We're doing the best we can. We just want people to be patient with us. Uh, we're going to do the best we can, but once traffic gets backed up so much, there's only so much we can do. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.